She's like, hi, Toss, it's Molly. I was like, excuse me? <laughs> That's Molly Burke? So cool. That's yeah, so cool. Yeah, it was cool. awesome. <laughs> also, being at Meredith. For that very, I remember the, I saw the butterflies when I was like, oh my God, I'm about to come out on stage. While this pandemic has turned our world upside down, it has also given lots of us more time to virtually reconnect with friends and family. George to Rescue House Calls spotlights inspiring personalities we've rescued over the years. We're diving in with two inspiring swimmers who routinely overcome challenges with incredible determination. This is the very first ever uh, George to Rescue House Calls. We thought who better to start with than you, Amy, Van Dyke and Ruin, uh, you were probably my most widely seen episode in the fact that we did, you know, Meredith Vieira's first uh, week of television and we were surprising you and obviously you have uh, a lot of people who know, who know and love you. And then my new friend, literally season finale of our last episode, of our last season, season 10, Toss Pagonas, Anastasia Pagonas, Toss, uh, I don't know if you guys have met each other or talked to each other or anything. This is the first time. Wow, that's amazing. Toss is a uh, Paralympic champion and swimming champion. Uh, just yep. won gold in Australia. I'll let you know, her talk. Toss, uh, I'm sure you've heard of or know of Amy. 100%. Van <laughs> She's won a couple golds herself uh, in, in the Olympics. <laughs> and um, both of you are part of the George Strasky family, which is what brings me here with all of us. And um, <laughs> So yeah, that's that's a long-winded uh, opening to, hey, welcome to uh, the first ever George to the Rescue House Calls. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, I, I mean, absolutely. I think all swimmers, it's almost like we're like a family, right? And right? Even if yeah. you don't know the person, you know the person. So You know it's of cool them to, like, somehow. <laughs> exactly. So it's cool to see you quote unquote, in person, as opposed to with your swim cap on and all the things, so. I know, right? Uh, Good to see you too, nice George, to you. with your staff. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, what, one thing you can't see in Zoom calls is, uh, Toss is blind. Uh, she lost her vision last year, well, she's been losing her vision for a while, but she's yeah. lost her vision last year, so. Uh, getting her back in the pool was a big thing in her therapy yeah. and just, you know, making her the inspiration that she is. Since she did George Rescue, her, I mean, both I think you and I, Amy, would be envious of the amazing amount of social support and fame that uh, that Toss has got. And she is literally, she's motivating and inspiring people every day and it just continues to grow. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> and uh, also it. reminds me of when we did our reveal, uh, Amy, you were saying that in when we showed you the car, you said this is the one place where I am normal with everybody else. And on Zoom, nobody can see that Amy is in a wheelchair now. Uh, and I don't know if you know the whole story, Toss, but we did the rescue for Amy because she was in a, a four-wheeler accident and had a spinal a, a spinal cord sever, right? I mean, full. Correct. Yep. Yeah, and um, so she's in a wheelchair from the waist down, but that does not stop her. If you have not already started following her on Instagram, you have to. She I do, did, I do. <laughs> I always like, God, I don't work out nearly enough. And then I see Amy and she's like crushing it. And, oh, it's unbelievable. And it wasn't until probably two years ago that I got back into CrossFit and now I'm competing on the worldwide stage again that's at insane. my age. That's been the thing in this quarantine that's like kept me sane is being able to go to my garage and do even That's just a little awesome. bit of something. Funny you're talking about garages. What I don't know if you saw, I don't know how much you guys keep up on George the Rescue and the episodes we do, but I don't know, Amy, if you did see Toss's episode that we did. I did. Talk I did. About, talk about a, a garage you can train in. Uh, and unfortunately, my garage is legit. <laughs> my <Right>? mobile. <laughs> Girl, I was so envious. I was like, ooh, I, I need to get oh my to God. So now that we know each other, I'll be down there. <laughs> oh, yeah, 100%. Just like, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. It's fun to just it's have so your awesome. own space. You know what I mean? Like just to be able to do your own thing. And, you know, especially, you know, when, you know, like you said, you recently become blind and all of that. And it's such a mm. life changing thing that I don't think people realize. And people take so many things for granted. And it's so cool that, you know, George can yeah. come in and help us with those things and do things that we didn't even know that we needed. Girl, I got no. cabinets that dropped down onto the countertop and I'm like, oh, I can I, get that uh, top plate. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's insane. Isn't no, that crazy? They, like, think it's, 
they think it through to another level. Like literally, I was not expecting like a quarter of what they did. It was insane. That's awesome. So what was your favorite part? The pool. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was and then my room. I love my room so much. My bathtub, like my bathtub is like where I'm at. Like it's what relaxes me and everything. So Yeah. You guys are really good. You don't even need me. I uh you know, you guys have so much to talk about. <laughs> George, we always need you. <laughs> always. I'm still working through my Bluetooth connecting, but um I've been blessed. I can't, I, you know, that's the only way to say it. I've had amazing, I can't say one is greater than the other, but being in her family diner, her uncles, like generationally deep, everyone was so awesome. Her out, and then like, they all know this surprise coming, but like Toss doesn't know, her mom doesn't know, and even her brother didn't know. And then in comes Paul again, like she's like, you know, also blind and her mom's there. And it's like, and Toss is just chatting about like, oh, Molly's gonna, you know, this is my idol. And then she's like, oh, hi, Toss, you know. And she's like, hi, Toss, it's Molly. I was like, excuse me? <laughs> Molly Burke? So cool. That's yeah, so it was cool. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Also, being at Meredith, for that, for, I remember the, I saw the butterflies when I was like, oh my God, I'm about to come out on stage. That moment was like these surreal moments. So actually both of you have had these amazing time like with amazing surprises for both of you. And that, I'm blessed to have experienced that just as like that fly. You know, after um, after we did the rescue for, for you, Tosh, you went on and you've had some pretty crazy accomplishments since then. I just wanted to give you like this <laughs> to talk about what you've been up to since since we last saw each other. So um, I traveled to Australia, which was like amazing. And I got to swim for Team USA, which was awesome. And I won a gold medal. So yeah, that was amazing. And now that Tokyo is postponed, I have more time to train, which I'm happy about because maybe I'll be able to do even better than I was expected to. <laughs> Perfect awesome. segue, because I want to talk to you, Amy, about A, your Olympic experience, but now obviously with what's happening with Tokyo being yeah. you know, suspended, and what's that mean for like, I don't know, people like Toss and swimmers and just the, the athletic body. Yeah, so I mean, my swimming career, uh, it was pretty much um, awesome. I enjoyed every single moment of it. In 1996, of course, Toss even thought about being a, a child. Um, I became the first American woman to win four gold medals in one Olympics. Um, look so, at you. <laughs> right? I mean, hey, what's up? Uh, okay. <laughs> and then I went on to win two more in um, Sydney. I'm actually one of the few athletes who have more than one medal and they're all gold. That's pretty cool. Um, my record actually um. still stands. I'm, <laughs> my record has not been broken yet of the four golds in one game. It will be broken in Tokyo. So listen, when we talk about a delay, one more year for me to have my record. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> Katie Ledecky's <laughs> coming for you. <laughs> right? Oh, we've got a few people that I think are going to do it. So yeah, it's going to be but... better who's the first and who's the second. <laughs> but like still, that's so sick to be able to say. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> um, so guys, uh, we got a lot of time on our hands. Uh, I personally have been uh, tasked with trying to figure out activities to to do to keep my kids um from killing each other and us killing them uh so we've been building forts uh we've built uh obstacle courses. um i'm literally starting every project but i'm not really finishing them but i i keep starting things uh what about you guys what are you guys doing to pass the time um, so what I'm doing is, I mean, I'm obviously working out, um, trying to stay fit because I do have the uh, CrossFit Real Wad games that have been postponed. So I'm trying to stay Ooh, fit for that. Look at you. Right? So getting ready. Um, but also, um, I have a 501c3 called Amy's Army. Um, and I'm still rocking and rolling with that. We give, we donate wheel custom wheelchairs to kids 18 and under. Um, we're hoping to get into the veterans and uh, homeless population as well. Um, there's a young man who was shot seven times at Columbine and he's unable to get a wheelchair. So Amy's army just got him a custom wheelchair. He hasn't had one since the injury. Wow, so I'm really proud of that. It's a lot of fun. So that's what I'm doing to stay busy. Tosh, what are you doing? Uh, so I still have school, so that's fun. I FaceTime my Braille teacher every morning. So I'm still keeping busy with doing school and stuff. And then trying to stay fit as much as I can. So I've been going on runs and 
<laughs> we bought a dog leash. So I have a dog leash wrapped around my waist. And then awesome. my mom or my brother will like hold the other side and then they'll go on the Love bike it. and then I'll be running. And running is not good for swimmers. Like I am dying over here. I can't even go up the block. I'm like, okay, so I can run like nothing, but I can swim like five miles. I'm like, this makes sense. So just trying to stay fit and so I don't die when I get in the water. I, I can't thank you enough. Uh, I, I really just enjoy just chatting with you guys. Who knows where this will go? Who will watch it? Thank you, but, uh, George. I, I, I can catch up with both of you. See your smiles. I know, uh, thanks to social media, that you guys are very active. Do you have, just so we have it, uh, do you, Amy, what's your social media so people can follow um, you? All of it. You can find me on TikTok. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Twitter. It's all at Amy Van Dyken, so that I don't forget it. They are. And Toss, what about you? Same thing. I have Instagram, TikTok, Facebook at Anastasia underscore K underscore P. And, you know, George Oliphant, George the Rescue, whatever. You know. <laughs> I let other people deal with that stuff. I <laughs> you know, bandwidth up here. I'm just trying to, you know, stay, stay afloat. Um, well, guys, please uh, give my love to your families and uh, take care of yourselves. Be safe. And uh, I look forward to when the day comes that we can gather and hug. And, and yes. <laughs> All right. Absolutely. George, thank Amy. you so much. Pop. Good to meet Thank you, you so much. Nice meeting you. Thank you for watching. And if you are looking for more inspiring George Rescue content, please subscribe to our channel.